Hi, I'm Nancy with Centerville Town and Country Animal Hospital, and I'm here to give you some pet tips for the holidays. Let's go to ornaments, wreaths, plants around the holidays that you want to bring into your house. Um, the big debate on poinsettias, sometimes people say they're poisonous, sometimes people say they aren't. I think the jury and the medical community is still out on that. The best thing for you to do is if you want to bring them in, and I bring them in mine, I do love them, store them up higher where your animals can't get. If you had a cat that chews on them, it's probably best not to bring them into your house at all. The Christmas tree ornaments, if you can't find a way to keep your pet away from the tree, you can always secure your pet in another room for the times that you aren't in it. It's really safer for the pet. They chew through cords, there's electric shock. Um, the stuffed ornaments for the Christmas tree seem to be particularly attractive to both dogs and cats. I have heard people with some success, baby gates around them or play pens or the accordion style wooden gates around the Christmas tree work well for dogs. Um, for cats, they're more tactile, so placing something under the tree so they can't get close enough to, to climb it might be beneficial. But something unpleasant for their feet to be on is often enough of a deterrent for a cat to stay away. Um, tinsel, just don't use tinsel if you have cats. They just can't resist and they swallow it. If you're having parties through the holidays and you have a lot of guests there, it would probably be a good idea prior to the event to make sure your pet has a safe space in your home somewhere where they can go and feel comfortable and get away from the noise and the crowd if you don't already have one. If it's a new pet, it would probably be best to crate your pet until you know how they're going to react. You'd be surprised how easily they can sneak out a door with, the, with a lot of people coming in and out. And if you have a counter surfer, and if you have a counter surfer, you know who you are. Don't put anything on the counter because as soon as you turn it, the dog is going to be on there. He's going to eat the loaf of bread and he's not going to take the plastic off happens every year. For your cats, they can be a little more difficult because they have ease of access around the house. Um, cats are also a little more picky. They will tend to hide by themselves. The one problem we do run into with cats is they get out. So with your cat, you may want to crate them or close them off in a room during the most active time of the in and out activity because honestly, I can't tell you how many people have called. They never saw their cat get out. Now, if you go to our website, which is CentervilleTownAndCountry.com, we have lots of videos. So I hope you find this helpful. Um, and again, if you have any questions or you want to look, go to our website, CentervilleTownAndCountry.com, and check out our links. Thank you.